Hollywood is very seductive and people want to be famous and, and sometimes you think you're going to be safe and with, with an adult in the room or, you know, I don't know where this um, security comes from, but somehow I've dodged, I dodged it all. And they have to make you dirty. Like, you cannot be in Hollywood, become famous if, you, if they don't have some kind of dirt in you. And you go on those parties, and that's where usually you have to do something dirty, and it could be the party of the party of, of overeating stuff. Pamela Anderson is finally opening up about a night that shook her to her core, a night at one of Diddy's infamous parties that went from Hollywood glitz to something far darker. For Pamela, a woman who has seen just about everything in her years of fame, to feel afraid at a party speaks volumes about what went down that night. Over her decades in the spotlight, Pamela has been no stranger to wild Hollywood moments, but this particular night left a scar that's only now starting to heal. Those close to her reveal that she witnessed some disturbing rituals, moments that have haunted her since, and Pamela herself admits she came dangerously close to being swept up in them. And here's the shocker, she has the evidence to prove it. As alleged, Combs used force, threats of force, and coercion to cause victims to engage in extended performances with male commercial workers, some of whom he transported or caused to be transported over state lines. Combs allegedly planned and controlled the performances, which he called freak offs, and he often electronically recorded them. The freak offs sometimes lasted days at a time, involved multiple commercial workers and often involved a variety of narcotics. It leaves everyone wondering, did Diddy really go too far? Diddy, a man once seen as untouchable, is now drowning in allegations and lawsuits, each one darker than the last. Rumors paint his infamous freak-offs as multi-day benders with drugs, strangers flown in for the occasion, and twisted performances he allegedly choreographed down to the last disturbing detail. These parties, according to insiders, were nothing less than a nightmare disguised as a good time. And now, the past he worked so hard to keep hidden is coming back to haunt him. Pamela has joined the voices of those speaking out, adding weight to a chorus that's becoming too loud to ignore. For years, she kept her story to herself, silenced by the fear of Diddy's power and connections. But as his empire starts to crack, so does her silence. Pamela's past is filled with pain and survival. Growing up in Canada, her childhood was marred by abuse. A father who drank too much, a mother who endured his rage, and early experiences that left deep scars. She you know, I grew up in a very, uh, in an alcoholic home and, and there was violence in my, in my household. And I think it's just my model of a relationship. And when I got into any kind of relationships, it just seems to, you recreate the pattern, even though you say you're never, ever going to do that. You're never going to have the same relationship. My poor mom is, she's still with my father. My father is a great grandfather. He's a, a wonderful grandfather, but he's a terrible husband. And, <laughs> and my mom still suffers because she's, it's verbal. It used to be physical. And it just, and she just, you know, I did not have an easy child. Um, despite loving parents, I was from age 6 to 10 by my female babysitter. I went to a friend's boyfriend's house, and while she was busy, the boyfriend's older brother decided he would teach me backgammon, which led into a back massage, which led into my first heterosexual experience. He was 25 years old, and I was 12. My first boyfriend in grade 9 decided it would be funny to gang six of his friends. Needless to say, I had a hard time trusting humans and I just wanted off this earth. My parents tried to keep me safe, but to me the world was not a safe place. My dad an alcoholic, my mom worked two jobs waitressing, my mom was always crying, dad didn't always come home, leaving us in tremendous pain and worry. I couldn't bear to give her any more disruptive information, so I couldn't break her heart any more than it was breaking. I kept these events to myself. Sometimes when you smile, it's not because you're happy, it's because you're strong. That's hers, her words. She's talked about the trauma from her past, including assaults that shaped her life, leaving her grappling with trust issues and navigating relationships that weren't always safe. But despite everything, Pamela found her way to Hollywood, becoming the face of 90s glamour and landing roles that made her a household name. Fame came with a price, though. In 1995, she and her then-husband, Tommy Lee, 
had to endure the horror of their private moments stolen and shared with the world in one of Hollywood's first high-profile tape scandals. For Pamela, it wasn't just a breach of privacy. It was an exploitation, one that foreshadowed the invasions she would face again and again in an industry that thrives on sensationalism. And Pamela's story isn't unique. She's seen others, like Whitney Houston, walk a similar path, forced into dark corners by the industry. Pamela recalls Whitney's last night at Clive Davis's Grammy party, where the show went on even as Whitney's memory was still fresh. Pamela knew Whitney as more than a pop icon. She saw her as another soul caught in the machine, broken by the same pressures she had barely survived. It's a condo and a Porsche to be someone's number one girl. And I just naively said, well, there must be number two then, so I'm not interested. <laughs> or just, just, you know, money, homes, roles in movies. And I just didn't want to do it that way. I had no desire. And I'm a romantic. And Now, as Pamela speaks out, she's lifting a weight that's been on her shoulders for years. Her story isn't just another headline. It's a battle cry. By coming forward, Pamela is showing that the power of fear is no longer enough to silence her. And as her voice joins the rising tide of survivors reclaiming their truth, Hollywood's well-guarded secrets are coming closer to the surface. Pamela isn't alone in this moment. Other survivors are stepping forward, finally ready to share their stories in hopes of protecting those who still feel trapped in silence. As Pamela Anderson's voice echoes through Hollywood's ivory towers, it's clear this isn't just a story about one woman's survival. This is a battle cry for every voice that's been lost. Every story that was swallowed by the industry's dark appetite for power and control. Pamela's strength and willingness to tell her truth is slowly pulling back the curtain on the industry's deepest secrets. The kind of revelations that even the most powerful can't ignore forever. And as more details emerge, the whispers of other stories start to fill the air. Stories of betrayal, broken trust, and people who were discarded by an industry that was supposed to make them shine. For Pamela, this moment is far more than just personal vindication. She knows that by standing up now, she's paving the way for others who have felt silenced, the ones who have waited a lifetime for someone else to go first. And in a world where silence has protected the powerful for far too long, Pamela's courage is a game changer. She's rewriting what it means to be a survivor in Hollywood. No longer just enduring or hiding in the shadows, survivors are finding strength in each other, uniting to demand accountability from the very forces that once held them down. Pamela's voice has become a beacon, and as it grows louder, people are paying attention, inside and outside Hollywood. Fans who once saw her only as the bombshell in a red swimsuit now see the human being who fought tooth and nail to reclaim her life. Friends and allies are stepping up too, amplifying her words, demanding justice. And then, of course, there are the industry giants, the ones who once felt untouchable, now starting to feel the weight of her story. They may have once dismissed Pamela as just another Hollywood blonde, but now they're seeing her for what she truly is, a survivor, a fighter, and a force of reckoning but Pamela knows the stakes. Her decision to come forward isn't without risk. With every new revelation, she's challenging an industry that has built its power on keeping people silent. She's walking into the storm, fully aware that there are still those who would rather see her disappear than have her speak. Threats linger, and old connections she once feared still have power. Yet Pamela stands firm, guided by something stronger than fear. She's driven by the belief that change is possible, that the Hollywood she once knew can become a place where people like her and those who come after don't have to suffer to succeed. In a twist of fate, Hollywood is being forced to face its own history, its sins, its darkness. Pamela's story might just be the spark that ignites a fire long overdue. This isn't just about one night or one party anymore. It's about dismantling a culture that has for too long blurred the lines between power and abuse, talent and exploitation. As Pamela steps into the light, she's making a statement that reverberates through the very heart of Hollywood. She's proving that no amount of fame, no level of power can justify robbing someone of their dignity, 
their safety, or their voice. Now, everyone's watching, fans, critics, survivors, and even those who once held the reins of control. With each word Pamela shares, with each dark corner she exposes, the calls for justice grow louder. Her bravery is more than just a personal act of liberation. It's a challenge to an industry that thought it could operate in the shadows forever. And so, the story isn't over. As Pamela faces what lies ahead, Hollywood's walls continue to shake. The old power dynamics are crumbling, the secrets are unraveling, and Pamela Anderson stands tall at the center of it all. A beacon of resilience and truth, her courage is transforming her own life, but it's also igniting hope that Hollywood's darkest days may finally be coming to an end. As the future unfolds, it's clear Pamela's story isn't just hers. It's the beginning of a long-awaited change, a signal that the old rules no longer apply. This time, the survivors are leading the way, and Hollywood will never be the same. The question everyone's asking, will Pamela take the stand? If she does, her testimony could rock Hollywood to its core, exposing not only Diddy, but an entire culture of unchecked power. Her story is one of survival, resilience, and now, courage. Her words may be the spark that forces the industry to face itself, finally reckoning with the pain it has left in its wake. Hollywood's glamorous facade is slipping, and for once, the world is starting to see it for what it truly is. Pamela's courage isn't just rewriting her story, it's rewriting the story of an industry. As the weight of truth presses in, will Hollywood finally change? Only time will tell, but Pamela Anderson, the girl from a small town in Canada who grew up to be a star, is now doing more than surviving. She's shining a light on what's been hidden too long, hoping to protect others from a future she barely escaped.